Hey there, this is Virginia Parsons, and here's another Hangout Mentor quick tip to help you shine and get noticed as the go-to expert. Hi, this is Virginia Parsons, your Hangout Mentor. I have had numerous people ask me, what do I do now that Google Plus doesn't have Hangouts on Air anymore? Well, it's very easy. Hangouts on Air has moved to YouTube. Actually, they've always been on YouTube, but most people were accessing them through Google Plus. Now, all you need to do to make the transition is to log into your YouTube account. I've done that here at youtube.com and logged in. And now if you go over to the right and click on your image, you'll see a Creator Studio button. Just click on the Creator Studio button. Once you do that, you're actually opening up your Creator Studio. This is where you create everything within your YouTube channel. Now go over to the left hand column and see the area called Live Streaming. Now we're going to click the drop down button for Live Streaming so that we can find an event. Here's where you do the events. Just click on events and this will be just like creating a scheduled Hangout on Air event in Google+. Once you get there, all you have to do is to come over to the right hand side where it says New Live Event. Click on that. And now you're ready to create an event just like you did in Google+. Simply put a title here And next to that, underneath, decide if you're going to create this event today or in the future. Now I'm going to do this event today because I'm going to go ahead and record it right away. But if you were going to schedule the event and then promote it and then broadcast in the future, then you would change the dates here and the times here. But I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. So I'm going to leave it at today and now. Of course, add a description and make sure that the description really tells a lot about the event, putting in a lot of keywords for the event so that it is easily found. You can also add tags down below. I already have some tags automatically set up. Now come over here to the right where it says unlisted. That's how I have mine set up unless I want it to be public. If you want it to be a public event that anyone can watch, click the drop down and click on public. If you want it to be a private event, click on the drop down and make it totally private. Only those people you give the um, email access to can view it. In unlisted, only those people who have the link can view it. So I'm creating this as an unlisted event. Now you want to leave it in the default, which is quick and that is using Google Hangouts on Air. We're not going to be discussing the custom, more advanced encoding options, so always leave it in the default. Now that you've got the event all set up and described, simply go to Go Live Now and click on that. And don't worry, you're not actually going live. This is just going to take you into the Hangout Green Room. So click Go Live Now and click OK because you're ready to go. And here we are entering the Hangout Green Room. And you'll see that your camera will start working automatically, at least it should. And once your camera is working, you can test a few other settings to make sure that they're working correctly as well. Most people like to add, for instance, a lower third. Now I already have a lower third on here, and so I'm not worrying about it, but if you want to add a lower third, you might have to start by clicking on the Hangout Toolbox on the left hand side. Once you do that it opens up on the right and then just click on the silhouette here at the circle and you'll see lower third. You can type in your name and enter a tagline and then you can click it from off to on and it'll create a lower third. Now don't worry it is mirrored here but the audience sees it correctly. If you want to see it the way the audience sees that lower third just click this reverse arrow and you'll see it the way the audience sees it. Now, of course, I've got a lower third already set up, so I don't need this, but you might want to just set up a lower third of this sort. So I'm going to turn this lower third off, and the lower third I've already created is there, and that's created through a different software. Now, the other thing you might want to do is make sure everything's set to go. Look down here by the Start Broadcast button, 
And if the start broadcast button hasn't come up yet, it means it's just taking a little longer to get set up. Wait until the start broadcast button is there. You're not live yet. You're just in the green room and you won't go live so anyone can see you until you click start broadcast. The other thing to check for are these green dots. These green dots mean that my microphone is working and people will be able to hear the recording. If you don't see any green dots here, then you're going to want to go up to the top and click on the cogwheel for settings. Once you go into the settings, you want to make sure your camera is set up correctly. I'm using XSplit Broadcaster, but you may be using some other camera such as a Logitech. Choose the camera that you're using for your computer. Choose the microphone that you're using. I'm using a Yeti mic. And you can see again, the green dots that are expanding next to the mic means that that's the correct mic. But if you're looking and speaking and you don't see the green dots, you have the wrong mic and you need to click in here and find the correct mic. You might have to go through several mics until you find the one that is going to take the recording and give people the audio that they need. Finally, the speakers. You need to make sure that your speakers are working, so if you want to check them, click play the test sound. And when you hear the sound, you know you've, you've selected the correct speakers. Once you're done with these settings, simply click the Save button and you'll be good to go. Now, you can hang out in the green room and practice as long as you'd like. So don't worry if you don't ever click the Start Broadcast button and you just want to come in here to practice, that's fine. You can just do it and when you're done practicing, you can close the Hangout out. Or, if you want to practice and look at your recording and see how you're doing and see what areas you might be able to improve upon, all you need to do is click the Start Broadcast button. And of course, if you are broadcasting to the public, you definitely need to click the Start Broadcast button or no one will see you. So, just to show you what it's like, just click the Start Broadcast button and then click OK. And now you'll see that we're starting. And in the upper right, it'll say, the Hangout on Air is live. Now you are broadcasting. You may be broadcasting the public because that's how you set the event up, or you may be broadcasting unlisted or privately. In either of these cases, you will end up with a recording saved on your YouTube channel. And that's all there is to creating a Hangout on Air event inside YouTube, starting the broadcast, and when you're finished with the broadcast, simply come down here and click Stop Broadcast. Now, this is going to be saved inside your YouTube channel and you can go back and look at it and critique yourself and make any improvements. And so remember, it's easy to practice, it's easy to do. All you have to do is get in there and experiment and explore and you're going to start having fun with Hangouts on Air yourself. This is Virginia Parsons, your Hangout Mentor, and if you want more Hangout Marketing tips, simply go to my website, hangoutmarketingu.com, which you see right down here. All right, that's all for this quick tip. Have a great day.